Welcome back, welcome back. And today we have a guild war against 4-4 four, four again. So might as well start with the top fort, right? For the first team, we have my typical Kavazu, Bryceria and um, Pillars team. It's just that this time I have my Kavazu on the immunity EE. Because that Xenia seems to be so fast that it is not going to make a difference if I put silence on or not. Besides that she stays on her buffs a little bit longer. Um, Uberus 2 just for some additional damage and immunity. I mean, since she's going to do her stuff anyway, might as well not get provoked on Kavazu. Then we have um, my typical Brasseria with a little bit of res, so she's just going to be the bait since she gets the most damage in anyway. And Pillars on Rocket Punch, who is just going to deal with anything that might or might not be alive at the end, I guess. By chance we lose Bryceria again, as per usual. Then we have the S2, which is pretty simple. We give attack buff to Ervalin. Ervalin cannot miss with uh, Mrs. Crit against Chu because of elemental advantage and Manika both proking. After the crit damage reduction is calculated in, basically elemental advantage and only Manika. No other artifact work like that, just because it always determines whether or not to apply the crit rate during your attack and not in before, because it has um, a requirement. Basically... It needs to know if you're using a single attack or not, which is why it only gets applied on your hit and not at the start of the battle. Just like elemental advantage only gets applied when it determines whether or not you're attacking water in that case. Which is why it always gets kiked after the crit damage reduction and works the same way as Zahark does. Uh, and then we have Zahark. <laughs> The thing is that Belion is not on counter, so basically we are just making sure that um, we also have protection and bastion, so both of these have immunity and shield. Since that Belion is not on counter, we are going to S3 into her with Zahark, then Irvalen gets the turn, kills the shoe, might proc Elbrus or might not, doesn't matter, then he just kills her with whatever HP hers, uh, she has left after. Um, Zahak, yeah, that's the name. <laughs> Let's go. A lot of talking again. Feels uh, refreshing. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I'm super nervous. I have like a very, very important exam tomorrow. And it's in my head for so long and it's just getting worse the closer the day comes <laughs> uh, i have to pass it otherwise everything else was more or less in vain well she's almost dead <laughs> yo that's perfect hp on that ad and jesus Thing is that Senya is going to die from my Bryceria, as it seems. Yeah. Well, okay, I guess she just heals back. Maybe not dying from my Bryceria. This is going to hurt. Wow. They are all still alive. <laughs> um, I'm going to lose Bryceria as it seems. Well, mm, she's on healing, so she's not even on anything that could proc. So I guess I may or may not have a chance of her not dying when I put a shield on. So we kill this guy and we put a shield and kill her. Well, let's see if we can make sure that she doesn't die this time. Yesterday she... Uh, yesterday, I mean... Wait. Oh my god, okay, not even close. Anyway. <laughs> Feels bad. Feels bad. Disappear through the cracks of time and space. 
shield, immunity, just as per usual. It's always the buff left that has the highest amount of turns and it's always getting stripped from left to right since immunity is one turn, fine. While shield is always two in this case at least. Doesn't work with Doom Bunny because both of that is two turns so it's getting shuffled I guess. So yeah we attack the lion. We take care of some of her HP at least. Very nice. This one kills the shoe. Because Maya Verlin is strong. Yeah. <laughs> and that. Very nice. Wasn't that simple and clean? I really like the song Simple and Clean from um, Kingdom Hearts. So good. Um, anyways, GG, on to the next one. Okay, and now we are going to attack the midfort for the first team. Well, we are putting, pulling out Yulha again. Uh, basically just as a bait. I mean, she also has immunity now, so which is fine. Um, also to reduce a little bit of damage output onto, uh, from my, my, like, like that my pillars takes. We have Celine. I don't have her on, on Sword Storm because my Sword Storm is on Sass and to be honest, I'm pretty sure she kills without the attack buff and the, it's actually fine if she doesn't take the turn before either of them. Um... Just because she doesn't really necessarily have to attack the Eden if she doesn't, well, she doesn't have to, I guess, uh, because she would just provoke a counter. I mean, I don't, I'm I'm calking it to lose, but then again, if I have the chance of that um, girl actually moving before me anyway, I don't mind going for it. And yeah, then Pill is just playing with whoever is left, slowly killing them all just because of uh, the artifact. The bottom one. This time? Yes. This time that Lua is faster than my Zahark. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have Idle Shear. Idle Shear just making sure that my Sass gets... Well, what is it? 24 plus... 15, a 39% CR push, which is going to make sure that he goes before my Zahark. So he can kill the Merc and then my Zahark finishes off the shoe. Since he has Extinct, he's going to make sure that she doesn't come back, uh, explodes a little bit of stuff onto her and then... Yeah, it should be fine. Let's go. I know, she only has four pieces of equipment. That's all she needs, man. Very nice. He's dead. I actually attacked her. Feels bad. Anyway. You know what? That's actually pretty. No, it's not. I mean, we we attacked anyway. Well, <laughs> we just don't miss. I guess <laughs> that's a thing. Um. Is that a lifesteal add-in actually? No, it's not. Hey, we counter. Fuck you. <laughs> you better move. Uh, sh she has immunity yet again. I mean, it's whatever, I guess. We counter again, right? Ah, feels bad. And look at that. I that is enough to kill her. Which is the best part. We only got damage through damage here, but it's good enough. Very nice. And now we just... I mean, she got defense buff. Even if we crit, we don't kill. Aww. But we are not going to lose anybody here. Woo! <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, it was good that I didn't give her sword storm, otherwise she would have attacked into the Eden and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's fine. It worked out perfectly even. I mean sure, I I could have literally hit the um I could have hit the 
uh, I missed the add-in with my Yulha. And that could have become like Celine dying into uh Well my Yulha possibly perma stunt. So I guess I should have had a low a slower Yulha. She just had to move after. Hey look, uh, 15 almost 16,000 damage pretty easily. Right? Double tab and win. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. Just let it be over. Let it be over on the positive note. Anyways, GG, on to the next one. Okay, and now we are going to attack the bot fort. For the first team, well, we have Doom Bunny just moving and cleansing off um, attack break um, into my strays, one shotting possibly the A Ravi. Wait, actually, wrong artifact. Now it's better. Um, and then we have my Huayang who is going to finish off. Well, to be honest, maybe Alencia has highest HP, then Alencia dies. If um, the, 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 the a Ravi dies, then... I mean, I, I just finish off whoever is left. And actually, I forgot, I still have... Uh, I have farmed one of these. <laughs> Let me just give her the right helmet back. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, yeah, that's going to do some big damage. And for the bottom team... Uh, Supposedly they all have normal artifacts, since we expect normal artifacts. Um, I use my everywhere just to have a little bit of damage reduction for my team um, on Bastion so that my Evelyn is having immunity. <laughs> um, but yeah, besides that, my Zahak just... Well, you know my zahak Evelyn combo, we just nuked these two down. And then it is going to be a either two or three versus one, depending on whoever winter attacked and maybe even killed. But that killing is only going to happen after both of these have gotten their turn, so it doesn't matter at this point then. So yeah, let's just go, right? Yep. Actually, I totally didn't see the artifacts right now. I have missed, uh... Hey, Alencia has highest health. That's nice. You wanna know what that means? The race is going to kill her. Okay, so we just as three here. I guess technically it would have been better if Wayang would go first. But yeah. He's dead, and now we have my Wayang doing some very, very big damage through POV. That's not going to save her. 28,000 damage. Nice. <laughs> well then. This one's dead. Very nice. Alabastion, no crystals and nothing. So I guess it's spear then. That's very nice. So yeah, we just proceed as planned. Uh, as you see, even if she would have been on, on Swordstorm, she wouldn't be that close. I mean, she could technically be a little bit slower on the slower side, but even if she would be faster, I don't think that even with Swordstorm it wouldn't have been a problem. So, yeah. Level up. Oh no, what am I going to do? Anyway. We do some nice tiny bit of damage to that girl. Wait. Or we just almost one-shot her, that's even better. Evelyn? <laughs> Typical Evelyn, right? <laughs> almost 31,000 damage. Give up and submit. 
Oh no, we missed. Anyway, wait, we can actually stun. Well, actually stunning... I shouldn't have stunned. I should have let her use her S3 because I had immunity and everything. <laughs> well, that was... Okay, we just hit, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. GG. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, have a good one.